Welcome back to AP Psychology in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Okay, so I may have accidentally covered a lot of this stuff in my 2.3 video, so I will try to keep this short. I'm gonna assume you get the general idea of how this model on the screen works. So let's review a few things. And by a few things, I mean two big facts. Capacity and duration. We already know the sensory memory lasts a few milliseconds to a few seconds. However, it has a very large capacity to hold information. The reason behind this is because it holds so much sensory information in it. The fact is, a lot of this sensory information is forgotten, unless you pay attention to it. Now let's move to the short term slash working memory. We know info here lasts 15 to 30 seconds, but that number isn't ironclad. When you rehearse something here, particularly when you do maintenance rehearsal, you lengthen the amount of time information stays until eventually you can successfully do elaborate rehearsal and bridge the gap and transfer the info into long term memory. The other thing you could do is forget the information, but let's not talk about that. It's pretty universal that the short term memory can hold about 7 plus or minus 2 items in it, but that has been recently debated. Finally, the long-term memory. This one is actually quite easy. Information lasts here from a couple of days up to an entire lifetime. And believe it or not, the long-term memory is said to be virtually unlimited in its capacity. Moving on, the autobiographical memory is simply the memory of your own life containing the episodic and semantic memory. Autobiographical memory is essentially the reason behind why memories of your own life are your most memorable. It's also very interesting because some people have proven superior your autobiographical memories, suggesting that there potentially is a biological factor behind memories. Now let's go over limitations that affect memories. I bet you're sitting there all smiling like, I know what amnesia is, I don't need to learn it. WRONG! There are two types of amnesia. Entrograde amnesia is when you can't learn new information. Retrograde amnesia is when you can't remember previously learned information. Alzheimer's is a very sad disease where your memory, thinking skills, and ability to perform daily activities slowly diminishes. And finally, let me ask you a question. Do you remember the day you were born? For any of you that said yes, you're wrong. If you really do think you're right, that is a flawed false memory caused by reconstruction. The truth is, when you're a baby, your brain is informed enough to remember things long term. This is known as infantile amnesia. Only when you get to be about ages 3, 4, and 5 will you truly start remembering things. On the screen now are some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers on the screen now. I will see you in the next one.